By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim? Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today I am doing something I've never done before. I am going to crack open a BGS graded card. And um, I kind of want to tell you a little bit on the, the background of the story behind this whole opening. Um, that's also why I slowed down the footage a little bit. I got a message from Erwin. He's the co-founder of the Dutch Old School Guild. Um, and he's also the organizer of a tournament called the Dwarven Warriors Cup. And this is an alpha beta tournament. So everybody plays with alpha and beta only. Um, and as you can see, there are two beautiful 9.5 Dwarven Warriors here in a BGS case. But there's also this Time Walk and uh, it's a 7.5. And he asked me to crack open one of these three. And you know what? I think I'll go for the time walk. And I'm actually filming at his house. I'm not filming uh, at my own place. I'm now on location. And uh, let's take a closer look at this time walk. Let's take the wrapping off here. And um, yeah, I'm going to show you basically how you can crack open a BGS card. And I'm going to do my first uh, cracking of a BGS card actually today with this time walk. So I'm a little bit nervous, but hey, let's give it a go. When you want to open up a BGS graded card, you only need two things. You need pliers and you need this, a flat screwdriver. So I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna open it and I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna let you hear the original audio. So we're going to Dutch right now. Is it not so and then just very hard? Yeah, it's just very hard to take. Yeah? Jesus, do it normal, <laughs> oh! <laughs> Whoa, what happened there? This is the first time I've seen a flying time walk. <laughs> Boom! Oh, it's only deep enough, for me. So basically, what I'm doing now is I need to actually get rid of, of yeah, even more plastic. Like the corner that I cut is not big enough. So I want to make an opening yeah, for my really screwdriver really to kind of get my screwdriver between those two layers that the, the plastic layers, plastic layer case, I guess that the that the card is in. So I'm just taking off little chunks at a time now with the pliers. And I'm being extra careful now because I don't want it to go and fly out of my hands again. I don't want that to happen again. So I'm just going to take a little, little chunks of plastic. And I think, is it big enough? Can I, so I'm checking out now if I can put my screwdriver in between uh, the case, but I can't yet. So I need to bust it open some more. Actually, that's a pretty solid case. And it looks like there you can see that piece of paper from Beckett. So that's kind of an indication that there's probably enough space for me now to get that screwdriver in between to open up the case. And look at that. Now it's cracking open. And this is, I have to say, it was really, really stuck. And this was pretty nerve wracking because you really got to pull hard right now. Um, so I just, I checked with... Erwin, who's actually the owner of this card, you know, this is not my card. So you can imagine I'm pretty nervous. Uh, I really don't want to damage it. So I'm just asking uh, Erwin, like, okay, is it okay now? And it is free. Yeah, the time walk is free. And as you can see there on the back, there's a little ding. I can tell you that was already there. I kind of freaked out when I saw it. And I asked, uh, I asked Erwin, uh oh, did I do this? And it's like, no, that's that's was already there, and that is why the card is graded probably 7.5 and doesn't have a higher grade. Because when you just look at the front of the card, it's a real beauty. And yeah, there's like the little thing at the corner, the left top corner. Now the thing is, it's actually now still in a, in a in a sleeve that has no opening, so it's still closed. It's out of the plastic case, but it's still in a plastic sleeve. So uh, we're now actually getting scissors so I can cut open the plastic. Um, sleeve and I can tell you that <laughs> I, that is pretty nervous uh, nerve-wracking as well because you have the scissors really close to a beta time walk you know um, and I had a couple of beers so but you know hey I'm, I just have to cut right it's it's not that hard uh, Oh, 
Oh jongen, nee. Kijk, je hebt gewoon een helft met bier op, ga je gewoon lekker zijn kaart aan knippen. Eerlijk. Sorry for the horrible angle here, by the way, but I'm, I was just so focused on the cutting of the card, actually. And, uh, here, opening it up out of the sleeve, and now it's completely free, and I, I'm just, I'm getting goosebumps looking back at this, because, like, I'm now holding a beta time walk. I mean, that's a first for me. That's a first for me. And it's in, I mean, besides that little ding there in the corner, it's in pristine condition. It's really beautiful. Um, Erwin, thank you very much for uh, allowing me to do this for you and uh, also recording it here for Timmy Talks on the channel. If you're watching this video, let me know what you think. Um, how do you think I've done? You know, I mean, besides the flying away of the time walk, I think I did pretty well, like seven out of 10. Yeah, I think I did a decent job. Um, anyway, if you want to support the channel, you can do that by subscribing. If you're not a sub yet, you can also like this video, leave a comment, all that helps, and of course, sharing it on your socials. Um, and oh, yeah, we have a Patreon page as well where you can support us already starting from $1. Um, there's a link popping up right now. Just click on it, have a look, let me know what you think. I'm talking about Patreon. Let's go to the end scroll of Timmy Talks and let's take a look at all the great, fantastic, amazing patrons of Timmy Talks. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Ik het was fikker te somber gezien.